If you like to march to your own beat, then this prototype soul sensor might be for you. Christian Nimone of the University of Oslo spent two years developing this wearable music soul. It creates interactive, flexible music that's controllable by the listener. The soul has three sensors, while a central interface sends information to a computer. A gesture recognition algorithm allows various control possibilities and also selects which parts of the song to play. A central interface box is strapped to the user's leg. The type of gait that I have if I'm walking, if I'm tapping the front or the back of my foot uh, is classified uh, with a machine learning algorithm. And this classification uh, is used to detect which, or to determine, sorry, which part of the music is currently playing. Nimon says the device could be used for exercise, pushing an athlete running out of steam to go faster. Dancers could also benefit. In the different parts of the music, I influence different aspects of the music itself. So if I'm walking, I can let the walking tempo detect the speed of the music. And uh, if I'm tapping the front of my foot, it will change to another pattern and the activity level of, say, one of the instruments is changing. And the different filters is uh, uh, influenced by, by in another pattern. Nimon and colleague Professor Jim Torrison believe their EU-funded work could create a market where audio producers make flexible music rather than pre-recorded songs. Although current technology would probably create a network lag, it could soon become possible for two users on the other side of the world to create interactive music together. Nimon says he hopes to start a craze for a whole new type of soul music. Thank you.